Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back again, finally. Well, maybe for you it hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been a long time for me because I think I mentioned this, well, first of all, I'm going to talk about some drama today, not regarding... Amber Lynn Reed and it's like foodie booty adjacent. If you haven't been following along on the internet, we'll get into that real quick. I'll put a timestamp for where that starts if that's what you're here for and you don't want the personal life update from me, Zachary Michael. But I am gonna just give a quick update because I think for those of you that watch me regularly, I you just need to know this for content moving forward for the rest of the week. And that is just that like, we continue to have issues with our AC. It has not been resolved yet. And it's really fine. It's actually a little cooler right now. I think we're having our first little faux start of fall situation type of deal. So it's not super hot. But what I will say is when I'm filming, I have these lights on and the lights get super hot. And then without these lights, I look real bad on camera. Y'all are always telling me, oh, Zach, your, your skin looks so good. I'm like, y'all, it's the lighting. <laughs> So, I just want to say that in case content slows down a little bit. I, I'm going to try. This is kind of actually like today's just a little bit of a test to see how long I can handle the lights on. And I also have a little baby desk fan on the floor pointed up at me. And I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be distracting on camera or not. So let's do a test run of a video slash film an actual video for y'all and see where we go from there, okay? So that's just that quick update. I am still also going to be streaming on Twitch, but if you check in on Twitch, maybe potentially, depending on how much I can handle, the, the studio lighting might be off and it might just be a more subdued stream. So anyways, the drama we're going to talk about today involves three, I think, reaction channels to Foodie Booty, uh, Flobby Bobby, Big Beautiful Me, Chantal, The Daily Chantal, The Chantal Show, uh, Chantopolis, whatever she may or may not be calling her channel today. And just as a quick preface, the things you need to know about what I know about going into this is that I never watched a single one of these channels prior to this moment situation type of deal here. I think I've said a lot that I don't follow most reaction channels in general just because like I already watched this content on my own, <laughs> like I don't need to watch it again. But also because like I have fully like just gone a little bit away from the foodie booty uh, drama content, etc. Because she's too much for me, and not her El Shami, her whatever situationship is too much for me, and Dee Dee Lulu Mega Doo Doo is too much for me, and I just whew, I had about enough of them like. A year ago, okay? <laughs> so this is all foodie booty adjacent. Foodie booty adjacent drama and three reaction channels that react to her and or maybe not her and Dee Dee. I don't, like I said, I haven't followed a lot of their content. Their channels are Jessica Messica, Just Breezin' Today, and Gorlick Bread, okay? Now, these three, I guess, have some kind of weird love triangle situationship going on. Not too different, it sounds like, than maybe <laughs> Chantal, Nader, and Dee Dee. For clarification, let me just say, I mean in terms of it being like a three-way relationship, not in terms of like all the other terrible stuff that Nader Doodle Doo does, just so we're on the same page. Here's the thing, I'm not gonna give you all the receipts and tea. I'll leave some links to videos that I use to learn about the situation and or in some cases you can go to their own YouTube channel like Jessica Messica has like a whole hour and a half long live stream talking about this situation. I think Gorlick Bread posted something and I think Just Breeze and she posted on her community tab but I think she deleted any kind of like lives or videos related to it. So basically what's going on is this man Gorlick Bread He's talking to a lot of women who, I guess, are reaction channels. Also, though, potentially just people who subscribe to him, view him, whatever. Jessica Messica, she said, I, I smell what you're stepping in and I'm, it's not good. It's not good. And so she exposed him and his relationship 
with Just Breezin' today because she felt like she was getting played by this man and Just Breezin' today was apparently talking to this man the whole time she was talking to this man. But Jessica Mesca, she's like, well, I, it wasn't like that for me. Like, I was just talking to him. Like, Just Breezin' today I thought she was in an actual relationship with this man. And you can't catch me looking like that. But then, like, Jessica Mesca kind of looks like that anyways, right? Like, she looks like the Mesica in her name. And so <laughs> that's essentially it. And I think I, what I really want to do is just to rant a little bit about this situation. Because first of all, let me say, I have found it very entertaining. It was something that, you know, took my mind off of the many home owning issues I had over the past week or just even this past weekend. It really took my mind off of things to one, watch people's content about it. And two, just like keep up with what they were all doing. But here's what I got to say. Stop! And this is for, like, mostly women who watch me or these people, okay? Stop <laughs> trying to have interpersonal relations with men on the internet, let alone men who, for whatever reason, choose not to share their face in their videos, okay? I know there's lots of creators who don't show their faces on camera for a variety of reasons. Like, obviously that's not me. Like, I'm, I'm gonna put a face with my opinions and my thoughts and my feelings. But I understand why some people do that. You know what you won't find me doing? Well, one, I'm not trying to start a relationship with anybody. I'm very happy <laughs> in my relationship. But what you won't find me doing doing is going out here and befriended these strangers who won't even put their own face on their videos, okay? You, uh, not trying to start a relationship with somebody who won't put their face on their videos. Like, fine, you don't want to show your face, that's chill, but like, you're not somebody I'm trying to start a relationship. Like, if you're not putting your face on camera, there's a reason for that, right? I'm not saying it's because you're ugly. It could be, but I'm not saying it's because you're ugly. It could be a, a variety of things. You don't want people to know you're on the internet. You're keeping stuff from people in your public life. You don't want the internet to come into your public life. There's lots of reasons, and there's too many questions about it for me. So that is where I want to, like, direct these women to start to begin with. It's just, like, question why this is even the guy we're, we're starting with, okay? Like, of, of all the different content creators on the internet you could be with, you choose to try to, like, start a relationship with somebody who won't even share themselves fully on the internet. If they can't do that, what makes you think that they're not, like, gonna keep you from certain situations and types of deals, you know? Do you, do you understand that? I'm not saying that everybody who doesn't show their face on camera has, like, ill intent with that. I think there's probably lots of good reasons that people do that, okay? I'm just saying, not somebody who, you know, is starting off on, like, some solid ground to have a relationship with, okay? All right? But also, in at least Jessica Mesca's situation, this is not her first time trying to be with people, okay? She, and this is what is the most suspicious. You know, of all three people, yeah, I, I listened to primarily also, I spent a lot of time watching Charlie Gold's live stream about the situation, her two live streams about the situation. And she said this at one point and she might've gotten some flack for it. You know what though? I sort of agree with her is that of all the people, the one making the most sound, and if you can believe this, the most sound points and logic was Jessica Mesca. But she's, she, that, that's as far as it goes. That's as far as I'll go with that because she had relationships with not or doodle do. She texted this man. She was in communication with him. Uh, she allegedly sent him maybe some photos of herself. Uh, she she received a sweater from him and might have burned it on her channel. Like what? What more do you need to to learn and process from this situation? What you keep making poor choices. Stop talking to these men on the internet. I don't understand why you would do that. It makes no sense to me. And you want to meet men on the internet, I'm sure you can find some men on the internet that are local to you that you can meet in real life. Like, I don't, like, what is going on that you can't have these kind of relationships with people in your area? That's not to say that long distance relationships can't work, because I know people who it has worked for, but I'm just saying, something's clearly not working for Miss Messica, so maybe we try something else. Let's try a new strategy. But more than that, all of these people, like, I hate to say it, and I think, like, everybody 
can probably say or do some hypocritical things at times, but these people are hypocrites, okay? <laughs> like, maybe just Breezen the most. Whenever this all first came out, I remember seeing a tweet from her, and I think she went on private now, and at the time, I don't think I would have ever thought to have screenshot anything because, you know, I didn't think I would ever be doing a video like this. But I remember a tweet came out from her where she was like, please just like respect me during this time and don't talk about me. First of all, <laughs> first of all, if you ever want to be anything on YouTube, you better be prepared for people to discuss your drama on the internet. You think, you don't think I got to over 100,000 subscribers and never had a single person make a video about me, warranted or not? <laughs> like, like, girl, you're in for a rude awakening if you're really trying to make this a whole ordeal, okay? But second of all, you know, I said there wasn't going to be a lot of receipts of this, but I just want to, I just want to know that she posted 18 hours ago from when I'm filming this. She posted this whole community ass post. Okay, I don't know why I said it like that. And I'm not gonna read the whole thing because you can tell it's long. But what I will read is this part, okay? I just wanna say I am back with a brand new perspective. So many lessons learned. And I feel so sorry for judging Foodie so harshly for things when I'm going through very similar things now. I was wrong to judge her life when my own life wasn't in order. I didn't know it wasn't in order at the time, but now I do feel like a bit of a hypocrite, just being honest, so I'm sorry. You know what? You know what? You, <laughs> you wanna know what? She felt so bad about it. And guess what? 38 minutes ago from the time I'm filming this, she already uploaded another Foodie Booty video. <laughs> it's just like, no, you, you don't feel bad about judging Foodie Booty, which honestly, go for it. Obviously, I judge people, make judgments about people on my channel all the time. But don't give me this sob story in a community post about how bad you feel for judging people, for judging Chantal specifically because you are now feeling what it's like to get judged. And then come back anyways and film another video about her. <laughs> like, have, you, you clearly haven't learned anything from this experience. What does that community post even mean? And listen, I'm not saying that this means you can never, ever, not once, not never, make another video about Chantal, but I'm just saying, like, you, you had this whole post about how much you've learned from this experience and how you feel bad for judging her, and then less than 24 hours later, you're already back to talking about her. Like, it makes no sense to me. And, and honestly, truly, you know, everybody, I think, goes through different experiences on YouTube and certainly learns from them. You know, I, I have, at different times, made people upset with me, happy with me, whoever, whatever, and I think my content has changed based on that, and some of it stayed the same despite feedback. I just think you need to take a little bit more of a, a break, bestie, for you to figure this out. Okay, sorry I keep having thoughts while I'm editing, but I think what I was really trying to say here is like, for example, I took a break covering Amber Lynn when things felt like a little too close to home with what she was going through compared to what a family member of mine was going through. And I did take a break from talking about Amber Lynn, and I did change the way I cover her content and things like that, right? That's all I'm saying is like, yeah, I, I believe she could feel differently now that this has happened to her. But how much have you really learned in less than 24 hours about how to go about changing the way you do this content? I'm just not quite convinced she's really taken a lot of time before like jumping back in to dragging Foodie Booty on the internet. And you know what? I don't want to spend too much time shitting on Jessica and just Brazen today because, you know, honestly, if there's a man involved, 90% of the time, I'm probably going to side with the women because I'm going to guess that this man is up to some fuck shit. And I think that's exactly what Gorlick Bread is up to. You know, the only thing that he actually posted in terms of a response to any of this was just getting mad that another, like, reaction channel posted a photo of his mom without his consent, which I think is probably a reasonable thing to be upset about. But he hasn't said anything about any of the things that Just Breezen or Jessica Mesca have said.
Which leads me to believe he probably doesn't have a leg to stand on. He probably knows that what these girlies are saying is the truth. And for me, I believe him. If, if we're just here for my opinion today, I believe him. I believe that this man was playing women, playing multiple women. And, you know, I think that that is sketchy behavior. <laughs> sketchy behavior. As much as I would say, don't put yourself in that situation, you know, it's it's natural to want to trust people, especially because he was helping them. Like, Jessica Mesca talked at length about how this man would help her with problems she was having on YouTube, legal YouTube things, monetization, things like that. You know, it's natural to want to trust people. It's natural, and it's not necessarily their fault that that they trusted this man who has a following on YouTube. I mean, granted, Just Breezin today and Gorlick Bread have about the same amount of subscribers. They're both at about 8,000, a little over 8,000 subscribers. But Jessica Messica, she has two and a half thousand, 2,500. I don't know why I'm saying things so weird. So, you know, and she also doesn't have the best reputation in this corner of the internet because of the stuff she did with Nodder. So, you know, I'm sure she did see, see this guy that has significantly more subscribers than her, who has an established following, who from what I can tell prior to all of this happening, people seem to like him. I could see why she'd be like, yeah, let me get this man is offering to help me with YouTube. He's doing something right. And then one thing leads to another. I still think it's foolish. I still think she probably should have learned from involving herself with Nodder. You know, I can't support that. And I won't like start following her because of this. I do think this whole situation is funny and entertaining. And it did keep me amused. Uh, this video, kind of all over the place, kind of all over the place, but I think that's my thoughts. You know, I think in this quarter of Al Gore's internet, a lot of people are just trying to become the show themselves, and, like, that's a choice you can make, <laughs> and certainly do what you want to do, make the content you like to make, but also just, like, I feel like people forget. I pe feel like they forget that, like, this could easily be you. You could be Chantal. If you're this cringy, if you are just as cringy as Chantal or Amberlynn or anybody else, you you could be it too. You could be. <laughs> it could be you. And there's, you know what the other thing is, is that I will say, I feel like I've, I've been around long enough that I've seen people try to intentionally be Chantal or Amberlynn and try to intentionally be that level of the show. And you can tell. And I don't think, I think these people are honestly 100% invested in like this story of their own lives. And that's the part that's concerning to me. Like, you, it's one thing to have the self-awareness that you're trying to be cringy and you're trying to, to be the show. It's another thing to lack that self-awareness, criticize Chantal, Nod, or whoever, whatever, over their behaviors, and then do just as cringy behavior. <laughs> right next to them. All, all in the same breath of saying, like, they're bad content creators, they're bad people, whoever, whatever. Anyways, have you been following along? Like I said, I'll leave some links if you really want to get caught up in the drama of, like, the videos that I watched that helped me get an understanding of what was happening. So go take a look at those. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you so please. And hopefully... I'll still be putting out some other content as the week goes on, although I don't know when we're going to have working AC, so this room is going to be hot. I'm actually, we're 19 minutes into filming, I actually don't feel too bad right now, so that's a, that's a good sign that maybe we can do some more, because I know Amberlynn just posted about wanting to do some kind of like sex advice video or something, so I know we're going to have some content coming that way. But I don't know. You let, <laughs> let me know. Let me know what you think. I love you all so much. Uh, if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to also leave a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!